What's this? Where had Garrett gone? The chapel didn't have a second exit. The cross looked very unstable. Lily thought it would make much more sense to simply place it upside down. The carving showed a begging monk with conspicuously empty hands. But something was missing. Dignity, for example, but something else too. Lily spent a lot of time in the confession booth. Only she knew what she mumbled during those long hours. At least ever since the father who took her confessions had died of a heart attack. Please stay off the slabs, okay? You're interfering with my research. Huh. Wait, wait, wait. No, nothing. I thought I detected a resonance echo in the floor. And where there's a resonance echo in a floor, the hollow space can't be far. A crypt or a hidden pool salon for Templars with outrageously hip hairstyles. What? Your question is completely justified. What would Templars be doing in a pool salon? It's just one of the countless mysteries surrounding the Templars. Where did they come from? Where did they go? Did they get a group discount ticket for their journey? And who was their hairstylist? There is just one answer to all these questions. The Great Church Conspiracy. And we can be certain that the evidence is buried beneath these stone slabs. If only I had the right tool to dig it up. Um, find it. Uh. Shh, for a second. Oh, great. If there's just been a landslide in the Templar's subterranean crypt, then now I've missed it. How the hell are you supposed to uncover church conspiracies if you keep getting interrupted? Just the constant stream of people going to confession is getting on my nerves. But compared to you, they're as quiet as church mice. I have no idea who they are. They creep into the confession booth and only come out when it gets too noisy for them. All that will be over with as soon as I have the right tool for my excavation anyway. Um... Sorry, Lily, but I'm just not interested in small talk. All I care about are church conspiracies. There's a lot to talk about there. But unfortunately, most of it's secret. And without the right tool, I won't be able to uncover the secret. So either you go and get me the tool I need, or you just leave. That would be fine with me too. Uh... Shh! You're destroying the holy illuminescence of the stone slabs. And if they lose their illuminescence, they certainly won't be in the mood to reveal their secret anymore. And there's no doubt that they have a secret. I know Templar symbols when I see them. Where there are Templars, a secret crypt with details on church conspiracies can't be far. If only I had the right tool to drill them out. Then, all I'd need to know is which slab to drill under to get my hands on the church conspiracy. If it's one that has a neck, because there are those with a neck and those without. Lily was impressed. Everything Frank said made sense. Ah, very good. That's exactly what I need. Now, if I only knew where to drill, but such knowledge was probably lost long ago. No one is old enough to still remember the age of the Templars. Otherwise, I'm sure I'd have long since had that church conspiracy by the scruff of its neck. Oh well, I'll just start. Damn, how am I supposed to work with all this noise? Hey, Frank, Frank! Ah, what the hell? A surveillance room. That was the hard evidence that Garrett was spying for Mother Superior.
Are you making progress? Uh, cool. So you've been working on your imitating animal voices number. You can tell me about it later, okay? <sighs> First, we have to get rid of Garrett. I'm sure he's spying for Mother Superior. Um. Uh, um. Before you say anything, I thought of something else. I think Garrett has a secret hiding place in the chapel. Uh. Yeah, a kind of listening station in the confession booth. This should prove once and for all that he's spying for Mother Superior. The question is whether we can somehow use this knowledge against him. Uh-huh. Lily actually had an idea. She would lock Garrett in his secret room. She could hardly wait to tell her best friend all about it. Wait, I know. What if we locked Garrett in his secret surveillance room? Just pretend you want to give confession, and when he's in his hiding place, Wham! Our trap will snap shut on him. <sighs> well, don't be sad, Lily. I'm sure you'll come up with a good idea next time. But for now, let's get to work. It was my plan, so now you have to set it in motion. I'm sorry that I can't help you, but I can't risk Dr. Marcel finding me. You know what they say about him. It's all true. Except the story with the orangutan. I made that one up. Not so loud. Dr. Marcel's ears are everywhere. If you listen closely, you can even hear the wind blowing in his ear hairs. That guy is no joke. But you know the rumors. So watch out for him. He is evil. Evil. Um. Um. Wait a minute. What's that? Do you hear those noises too? <sighs> I think someone's drilling inside the chapel. <sighs> it's probably just Frank looking for evidence of a church conspiracy again. Dang, that could ruin our plans. If Garrett can't listen in on you, we won't be able to lock him in his hiding place. You have to think of something to get rid of Frank. Did you happen to find the plans for my time machine? Uh-uh. Eh, they weren't finished yet anyway. Hmm. How big is the microwave oven in the school cafeteria? Um... Ah, forget it. That won't work. And all my other ideas are a little complicated. We don't have time for them. I guess the easiest thing to do would be to help him with his search. Once Frank has found what he's looking for, he'll hopefully stop drilling. It's the fault of those school bullies. We hate them. Exactly. They are just as bad as the authorities. Or the dark forces. Or the financial system. Down with the dark forces. Let them all perish in an endless inferno. Oh. Shibuya power! Shibuya power! She girl, you're so clueless about trends. Just look at how you dress. Don't you know that Shibuya and only Shibuya is hot right now? Where's your glitter? Where are your Japanese accessories? Miyarushi Sparkle! Miyarushi Sparkle! Shing! Shing! Uh, huh? Oh man, you're really out of it, Lily. Oh. Why are you gawking at my hairdo? Don't tell me you've got your eye on my original Marushu Naoki hairpin. Can you believe it, Shy? Don't believe. Just know. The warriors of light see with the power of love. Just who does she think she is? Hiroyoshi Superfrog's arch enemy Soki Nuroshi Maya Yoki Hagatsu? Down with the dark forces. Trust in the elf magic of the glitter dust. Exactly. Everyone knows that a real Shibuya girl will only part with her hairpin if it's a real emergency. And only if facing death. Yoroshi Sparkle, mystical spirit of the wolf. 
mystical spirit of the wolf, Kamanukri. Shing. And anyway, what even makes you think we'll let you have any of our personal things? You haven't launched any radical paramilitary campaigns or done anything to help destroy the state. We can't let the dark forces win. Plus, you've never helped us destroy the school. Does being warriors of the light really mean we have to destroy the school? It seems a little too hardcore to me. But Riot Girl does it too! On page 31 in volume 453, she puts one of Naga Yuzu's detonators in the teacher's lounge when the dark forces kidnap Musushi Rainbow. Shibuya is cool! Miyahushi Sparkle! Uh, Just look at her face. Typical. We're probably too extreme for her. And we are. Just like Riot Girl. Riot Girl rules. Shing! Shing! Don't you dare tell me you've never seen a Riot Girl anime or read a Riot Girl manga. Right. Ugh. That's what I thought. Because the Riot Girl is totally shiny. Down with the dark forces. And... Riot Girl is totally fighting against society more than anything. That's why we're also totally fighting against society. Because Riot Girl is totally cool. That's why we have to destroy society. You can help us if you want. Down with the dark forces! Lily, nice to see you. I hope Shawnee didn't upset you too much. He's an idiot. I think you're great, just as you are. Lily's heart skipped a beat. This might have been the nicest thing anyone ever said to her. 